Once again, we're joined by raw chef Jane here in the kitchen. And Jane, you know, I've had a little little illness this okay. week, and so I, oh, she's okay. she's want me to save my voice. Now I, I want him to save his voice. A <laughs> couple of things that you can do if you're having tr some trouble with colds, flu, and not feeling well. Okay, there are some things that Mother Nature has given us. We have gifts from Mother Nature. One thing that's really good for you to help get rid of anything, Mother Nature's antibiotics, okay? Raw honey and cinnamon. You take a little bit and mix it together like in a, in a little bowl type of thing, and you take as much as you can, as often as you can by spoonfuls. That's Mother Nature's antibiotic, as is fresh garlic, okay? If you can make a broth, now even, I'm, I'm not recommending cooked, but if you can even make a cooked broth with about 10 cloves of garlic in it, that yeah. is Mother Nature's antibiotic, okay? And it pretty much will kill anything around you. <laughs> it will also run off everybody in your home. Yeah, nobody's <laughs> around you. Yeah, so you're not really going to be exposing anybody to germs, but 10 nor cloves, are they going to be exposing how much, you. How much water with 10 cloves of garlic? As little as you can do. I mean, okay. it, you know, the, the thing is to get that into your system because it, Mother Nature has given us garlic and given us thing, uh, cinnamon, cinnamon and honey as antibiotics to get rid of anything that's in our body and that I, shouldn't be there. I am okay? a big believer in local honey. Okay. I really am. No, you can't talk. Okay. Okay. Uh, so today we're making curried lentils, okay? <laughs> now, the first thing in this, in this dish is we're going to take some organic spinach, which I have here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up very fine my avocado. Now this is in my book, it's on page 77. I have the recipe right here because I have to look at it. And the reason that, that Chris has gloves on, aside from the fact that he's contagious, is that... <laughs> I'm really not contagious. <laughs> well, he's probably not contagious, but he's just not feeling well. Um, is that I, you know that I always wear gloves anyhow yes. in my kitchen. It's a good, it's a good habit it's to get into. It's a good into. habit to get into, and it prevents your clothes from getting too messy, too, because I can make a real mess in the kitchen, as my <laughs> husband Kimmel could attest to. There's no question about that. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some lemon here. All right. I'm going to squeeze the lemon into this. Right. I've already put a little bit of salt and pepper into the... Um, into the spinach here, so we're, we're just going to massage this. Now you can see how large a container this is of spinach. There's a lot in there, okay? There's an awful lot of spinach in there. And you'll see when we come back from our break next time how this is going to wilt down. Now Chris's job is going to be to get in there and massage okay. all of that together, okay? That's your job. All right, now the next part of this recipe which is kind of a lot of fun. And what I did was I soaked some lentils for about six hours or seven hours or so. Now you can see that the lentils are starting to get little tails on them. Okay, that means that they are alive and they're living and they've now, they're a plant now. Okay, they're, they're live living food for your live living body, okay? Um, I'm going to put my lentils into a bowl here and they're gonna be waiting patiently for their sauce. I have some sun-dried tomatoes here that have been rehydrated, okay, which means I've soaked them in water until they're soft. Since I'm using my very small food processor because I'm making a small batch of this, I only use a small amount of sun-dried tomatoes, not necessarily the full amount that's called for in the recipe and in the book. Um, we have a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes. We have some cilantro. Now, believe it or not, this is a whole a bunch of cilantro that I've cut up. And the reason that I've chopped it up is because, as I say, I'm using this small food processor, which doesn't necessarily get things as finely chopped and uh, uh, emulsified as my regular larger food processor. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some curry. I'm gonna take about a little over a teaspoon. Keep going. Keep going? Yeah, okay. keep going. I want you to make sure you have, get everything in there I'm from the bottom. I'm trying to get it all coated. Get the yeah. bottom ones yep. in there. Yep, okay. yep, keep going. Keep massaging it. You wanna break it down a little bit, so that's good. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put about, probably about two teaspoons of curry powder in there. I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of cumin and this is uh, cayenne pepper and actually this cayenne pepper is still from my garden, believe it or not because I make it fresh pretty much every year, and I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there so we get a little heat. Now it's so cold outside, we wanna have heating things, we wanna have some fresh ginger, which I put in there also, and our spices. Remember our ginger, cayenne pepper, 
very warming spices for you, okay? So we want to make sure that we use those. And of course, I'm going to use a little bit of Himalayan salt in here. I'm going to use about maybe half a teaspoon. We can always add more. It's a colorful dish. Oh, it's beautiful. It, it's, mm -hmm. it actually looks so pretty in the food processor. Um, shh, you're not supposed to be talking. Um, we're actually going to mix this all up. It's I, thought my, <laughs> I thought my wife was the only one that could do that for me. <laughs> Uh, Tammy, I'm on your side, okay? <laughs> and I'm going to put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in here also. Just a couple of tablespoons probably. And this is the um, from Olive Oil Divine. It's one of their, their organic olive oils that they have up there. It's excellent, in case you're wondering. All okay? Right. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we have our cumin, our pepper, curry powder, sun-dried tomatoes, onion, and olive oil in here. Yes. Um, well, let's stop it right we'll there. We'll stop it right there. Because we're going to come back in just a few moments. And, and finish this thing? Up. Yes, and I will blend this up and I'll show you how to put it all together and it's really delicious and uh, fun. RawChefJane.com for more information. We'll be back in just a little bit and finish this dish up.